Senator Hawley, you're recognized for your questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to the witnesses for being here. Ms. Vinograd, if I could just start with you. You work in the Office of Strategy, Policy, and Plans. Is that right? Senator, let me just say, I had my first visit to the state of Missouri on Friday. Oh, good. And, uh, deeply, deeply. Where uh, did you go? I went to Jefferson City. Okay. I, I just want to share, I was deeply impressed by your Homeland Security profession. Well, thank so, you very much. I look forward to going back. Yes, I work in the Office of Strategy, Policy, and Plans. And you work with uh, Robert Silvers there, is that right, the under Undersecretary? I do, sir. Your name is on a memo with Mr. Silvers dated September 13th, 2021. The subject is organizing DHS efforts to counter disinformation. This is the memo that recommended the establishment of the disinformation board. It was turned over to me and to Senator Grassley by a whistleblower. I have to tell you, we've had the darndest time getting any information about this board out of your agency. We've asked and we've asked, members of this committee have asked, we would know virtually nothing had it not been for this whistleblower who turned over a tranche of documents, all of which are now public. So since I have you here and you wrote the memo, let me just ask you a question or two about it. Uh, whose idea was it to establish this board? Uh, Senator, the Department of Homeland Security has engaged in um, disinformation work pertaining to threats to the homeland and the American people for over a decade. Um, with respect to this internal working group, there were discussions about the need to uh, ensure that there were guardrails in place across the department to pr protect civil rights and civil liberties and privacy. And as such, there were discussions about creating this internal working group. Well, yeah, all of that I noticed is, is, is in the passive, uh, the passive voice. My, my question is, whose idea was it to set up the, and you use the word working group, but I noticed that that's not at all what the memo says. It doesn't call it a working group. The directive that Mr. Mayorkas eventually signed off on does not make this board a working group. It had managerial authority, it had directive authority, all of that's in these documents. So let's please not go back to those tired and now disproven talking points. So let me come back to my question. Whose idea was it to establish the board? Was it yours? Uh, Senator, without going into internal deliberations of the Department of Homeland Security, there were a series of discussions among uh, personnel. Who? I'm not going to go into the internal deliberations of the department. The uh, Why not? You're under oath. I am under oath, sir. Um, that said, these are internal deliberations at the department. As um, as you know, sir, the charter was signed by the Secretary of Homeland Security. Yeah, I only know that, by the way, because of the whistleblower documents. We would not know that otherwise. Senator, the charter was signed by the Secretary of Homeland Security. The charter included, uh, excuse me, the working group included representation. Does the charter call it a working group since you bring up the charter? Um, this was a working group, sir. The does the charter call it a working group? Uh, I don't recall the charter. No, the answer is it does not. So was it your idea to establish the board? As I testified, Senator, under oath, the establishment of the working group was a decision taken, a conversation that was had among multiple individuals at the Department okay, of Okay, so you're not going to answer my question. Ms. Jankowitz, Nina Jankowitz, she was appointed to run this disinformation board. How was she chosen? Uh, Ms. Jankowitz was chosen consistent with practices for the hiring and vetting of political appointees. Walk me through that process. Who was involved? Um, I don't know the full scope of that process. You weren't involved in it? I was involved in one piece of that process. What was the piece that you were involved in? I spoke with Ms. Jankowitz. At what point? Um, as, uh, as part of the standard process for political appointees, I spoke with Ms. Jankowitz. What time frame would this have been? Uh, this would have been, um, sir, I don't want to give you an incorrect answer. On it's okay, give me a, just a frame. Um, early 2021. Okay, February. January. I don't recall the exact date, sir. I can um, get back to you on that. Okay, January, February time period, perhaps. It's, that would be early 2021. The secretary signed the charter, I believe, in February of, of 2021. Uh, when did the secretary sign off on Ms. Jankowitz being the head of the board? Um, Senator, I don't know that the secretary signed off on Ms. Jankowitz or not. As oh, really? And I'm not, I'm not aware. He testified of, it was his decision. I believe the secretary testified that he was ultimately responsible for Ms. Jankowitz. I don't know. So it wasn't his decision? Senator, I just said I don't know the full scope of that. Did you recommend favorably Ms. Jankowitz to the secretary? After speaking with Ms. Jankowitz, I was impressed by her expertise during our conversation and noted uh, my recommendation um, to others in the department. Were you, so you recommended yes. I, th I think that sounds like it's a yes. You recommended okay. favorably. Okay. Uh, did you, at the time that you spoke with her and recommended with her, were you aware of her long history of comments on Twitter and other platforms of disinformation, anti-free speech rhetoric, and so forth, which has since become, I think it's safe to say, infamous? Uh, 
Uh, Senator, I was aware of Ms. Jankowitz's expertise in the field of disinformation and was impressed by her expertise. During did you know about these? Did you know about her her many comments spreading disinformation about Russia, about the Trump administration, about conservatives? Secretary Mayorkas, just to by comparison, that he was not aware of any of this at the time. I'm just curious, were you aware at the time you recommended him or her to him? Senator, in, in my capacity as Acting Assistant Secretary for Counterterrorism, Threat Prevention, and Law Enforcement Policy, I um, had not read all of Ms. Jankowitz's tweets, but as I said, was aware of her expertise in this. Well, when you say you hadn't read all of her tweets, does that mean that she, I'm sure, has a lot of tweets, but were you, were you familiar with the ones that have since become public? I was this, not, sir. Okay, you were not aware at the time. Did, you, did anybody bring those to your attention at, at any time before they became publicly released in this process, this not, vetting process? Not to my recollection. Okay, so sh somehow she got through this vetting process with no one, including all the way up to the secretary, apparently aware of what she had said on these public platforms. I find that sort of extraordinary. Um, What's, what, was the White House involved in the selection of Ms. Jankowitz? I'm not aware of the um, full scope of the processor as a presidential, um, as a political appointee, the standard processes were followed. So you, to your knowledge, the White House was not involved. Is that fair to say? Um, my knowledge is I'm a political appointee. The White House was involved in my process. So uh, I, I believe that that is, um, that is standard practice for the White House to be involved. So they, okay, so you think that they were involved in the selection of Ms. Jankowitz? I'm not aware of the full scope of the hiring or vetting process. It was the same as pertains to other political... Well, I, 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 I'm just trying to get at what your knowledge is. I'm, uh, so what, to your knowledge, I'm not asking you what you think may have happened, but to your knowledge, was the White House involved in selecting Ms. Jankowitz? Just yes or no? If... I, I really don't know, sir. Okay, you, you have no idea. All right. What, what's the current status of the, of the disinformation board, to your knowledge? Uh, well, it's on pause. The second... and what does that mean exactly? It means the disinformation governance board never met. The secretary has asked um, uh, the Homeland Security Advisory Committee, the HSOC, to review how the department can most effectively address disinformation and how to do so in a way that protects civil rights and civil liberties. He has also asked that the HSOC review how the department can be as transparent as possible with the American public and increase trust in the work that we do. The HSOC was asked to conduct their review within 75 days, and while that work is pending, the Disinformation Governance Board or the DGB just is on pause. It's not meeting. There's not work underway. Did, last question. I, I know there are other senators waiting to, to ask questions. Did the board ever meet, any members of the board ever meet with Twitter executives? We know we have minutes of planned meetings with Twitter executives to ask for cooperation in tracking speech. Did that ever happen at any point to your knowledge? I disagree uh, with your characterization of... Did the meetings with the Twitter executives ever happen, to your knowledge? If, if I can finish, I disagree with your characterization of uh, the um, purpose of a meeting that never happened. The, it, meeting, the meeting with Twitter never happened. Okay, to your knowledge, it never happened. Listen, I've, I've got to let other senators question. I'll just say that I regret that it has taken months to get the most basic information about this board. And again, we would know none of this, none, had it not been for a whistleblower who turned over these documents. Frankly, that is totally, totally unacceptable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.